Donald Trump, again, speaking in New Hampshire just the other night, saying, you know what, as soon as I am sworn in, there's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put my hand on that Bible and then watch. And we won. With your support, we will soon be taking the oath of office on the steps of the United States Capitol. And we're going to have a whole we're going to have a whole different country. As soon as I lift my hand from the Bible as your 47th president, I will seal the border, shut down the invasion of millions and millions of people coming into our country, and we will start an energy revolution. An energy revolution, imagine that. Secure borders, imagine that. Lower inflation, oh my gosh, now you're just talking crazy. (laughs) Wow. Look. We are the country we are for a reason. And for us to throw all that out, as this administration has done, and pander to extremists like these people at Harvard University right now, I can't even get into that because it breaks my heart when I see how they've defaced some of those hostage photos. It's just really horrendous. But when you're pandering to them and you're trying to make these extremists on the left happy, Instead of looking out for everyday folks, you got a real problem. And the country is going to be seriously challenged as a result. Now, the left, they want you to think, oh, my gosh, he's just awful. He's going to be a dictator. He's going to hurt people. He's going to lock people up. He's going to do all kinds of bad things. And it's going to be the end of the democracy of uh, this country as you know it. You're going to have no more constitutional republic. It's the end, the end, the end. They keep telling us this over and over and over again, right? Every one of us, our freedom, our liberty, none of us is safe. It's going to have people around him executing against an enemy's list. Assassinate generals. Ordering troops uh, to um, attack American citizens. Trump's very well-armed and extremist base will try to kill people. He's going to basically burn the house down. He will unravel the institutions of our democracy. Draw similarities between Mussolini and Hitler. Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Makes Donald Trump even more dangerous. Wants to take away your vote. Senate and the House are immediately going to be paralyzed. People will begin in their minds to censor themselves. They might say, well, maybe I shouldn't say this. This is the end of democracy. Yeah. I think that could be the end of our democracy. But democracy oh, is dead if Trump is reelected. Oh, goes yet to Putin that democracy will be at risk. The absolute destruction of the Justice Department as we know it. The Justice Department. See what they're doing, guys? All right, you, you, you catch the theme here. You get the drift over and over and over again. Our thanks to the great folks over at Gravian for putting that little compilation together. But this is what they're just selling. And it's nauseating because you know what? I, I think that Americans are starting to tune it out. Again, It doesn't matter. When you go to the grocery store and you realize you can't buy eggs for less than $7.99 a dozen, at least where I live, you start to say, this is kind of nuts. I mean, I remember when eggs were like $1.99, $2.99. That was just a few years ago, right? I mean, when, when Americans add up what's going on from an inflationary standpoint and they combine that with what's going on from just a security standpoint in terms of our border, you're left with a real big problem a big, big problem. And so the left, the only way that they can fight this is to scare the heck out of everybody. And so you're going to hear a lot of that. Be prepared. I mean, they just you're going to hear a lot. And I, I want you to think about what they're trying to do and, and the method to their madness. 